So guys, hope you liked that nice little intro in showing you guys the basics to this survival hack to make your Zippos significantly better for survival situations. And if you were like me and you don't use your Zippo that much or only in a survival situation, this nice, quick, and simple hack will help you to keep the fuel a lot longer, significantly longer in your Zippo. And not only that, this basic hack also helps make your Zippo more water resistant. It won't make it waterproof, but it'll certainly go a long way and say you drop this thing in a puddle or whatever happens to it in this condition, it will certainly uh, help prevent your Zippo from getting fouled by water. And anyways, guys, that is the basics to this simple little hack. And to explain what this material is, this is just bicycle inner tubing. This is a little bit larger bicycle inner tubing because you kind of need it to accommodate the size, the width of the Zippo. But that is the basics to what a, or that is the basics to this hack. Now that we've looked at this very basic and what I carry, pretty much everyday carry for my survival Zippo, this is what this looks like. But now let's get into actually a survival kit based around the Zippo. This is what the Zippo survival kit essentially looks like. And I just put a lot of thought into it, kind of played with it, just to see what all I could accomplish with this. And I think overall it turned out pretty well. So let's break this thing down. So starting off, you'll notice here that I have two different uh, layers of bands. One here, of course, just like this one to help keep the fluid in here and to help keep this from, you know, drying out. And this one down here serves a slightly different purpose and that is to hold all of the kit together. So the basics to this kit are starting off with cordage. So with the Zippo, and I knew this going into the Zippo, it doesn't have a lot of room, so I wasn't able to accommodate paracord just because, like I said, there's not that much room here to really hold paracord. So what I did instead was I took some trip wire, army trip wire, and this is about six feet of army trip wire, and this stuff is pretty good. I mean, it's not as good as paracord, and I would prefer paracord on any other day, anytime I can get it, because it's more useful, but having around six feet of cordage even if it is the, just you know trip wire cordage is significantly better than having absolutely no cordage so that's the first piece and that's actually the only piece on here i also want to note that in an emergency situation i did set the zippo up that even with all the contents on it you can still pop this thing and light it off hope you guys can see that so you can't quite close it because obviously the uh, rubber, but you'd have to move the rubber a little bit. But in an absolute emergency situation, I did set this Zippo up that if you had to use the lighter, everything was still accessible. Even with the uh, cordage on there, I just forgot to show that because I just remembered that. But anyways, I did want to note that uh, because I wanted to make sure that, you know, especially if say your hands are cold or whatever, for whatever reason, you just needed to instantly pop and light it. Um, you can definitely still do that, even with this entire kit on it. So the next parts are all on this side, and one that I just kind of threw in just for the fun of it was just a simple pair of tweezers. I can get them out of here. Just a simple pair of tweezers. Uh, and like I said, I, there was just a little bit of room. I thought I'd throw them on there for the fun of it. Next part is a Topps whistle. I really like using the Topps whistles for a lot of my survival kits because they're very, very flat, and they lay flat against things, unlike things like the Fox 40 Micro, which is a great whistle, but uh, it's just really round, and it doesn't like to sit well when it needs to sit flat. The next part is, of course, a ferro rod. This is a 5 16th, just blank rod for ferro rod, and you can pair that with the tweezers as a striker to get some striking and once again just having a little bit of redundancy with fire lighting you never want to be solely betting on the lighter to work and so in this kit i wanted to make sure that i had some extra source and of course this ferro rod if nothing else this ferro rod if it gets wet it can still strike and still make fire so the next part of course now we're down to the base is this little piece of rubber banding this is of course what held this entire kit together uh, and now 
to other cordage. So once again, I knew that working with a Zippo, I worked, you know, this is such a small space that the land here available to use for adding cordage. And cordage is one of the hardest things to add to a survival kit because you want lots and lots and lots and feet of it, you know, but it can be really hard to find the real estate for it. So what I did was in addition to the six feet of trip wire, I also added six feet of 100 mile an hour tape, but 100 mile an hour tape in its stock configuration is nearly as large as the Zippo itself. So what I did was I cut it in half. So this is two three foot sections of 100 mile an hour tape here on the bottom. And that's just of course like spooled over it. And like I said, I wanted to add this because it adds just another cordage option. And of course you can cut this smaller still to make it even better. So that is the basics to this entire kit. It's pretty basic. I didn't want to add too much just junk to this kit. I wanted to keep it simple. And like I said, one of the big things I wanted to continue to do was with all this kit on, still be able to spark the lighter and still have it work so that if you had to, you could still start fires with all this stuff on there. And so that's another reason why I kind of kept it a little bit more minimalistic. It's just so that I could still attain that goal. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that look at that nice little Zippo survival kit. And if nothing else, hopefully you guys saw the hack on how to make a really awesome, very basic mod to your Zippo that will really help you in the future. As always, guys, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you're not already and want to see more awesome content. And that's all for now. I'm out.